The man who says he was the victim of a racially motivated attack at an Indiana lake is talking to CBS News along with an eyewitness. It's a story we first brought to you yesterday, and we want to remind our viewers that what you see and hear here is disturbing. Vox Booker said a group of white men surrounded him and threatened to get a noose. Much of the confrontation was caught on video, as you can see here. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, is following the investi investigation. Jerika, good morning. We're told the FBI is now involved. What do we know? Good morning, Tony. That's right. According to Booker's attorney, the FBI is investigating whether or not this was a hate crime, but the Bureau would not elaborate. So how did all of this start? Well, Booker says he was headed to the lake with a couple of friends to watch the lunar eclipse on July 4th when a confrontation turned violent. Let him go. Let him go. I was strategically hearing my own death narrated uh, while it was happening. 36-year-old Vox Booker, a local civil rights activist from Bloomington, Indiana, says a group of white men pinned him against a tree, shouted racial slurs, and threatened to lynch him. One of them said to the other one, get a, get a noose, not get a rope, but literally get a noose. It happened near Lake Monroe, just outside of Bloomington on the 4th of July. Much of the assault was captured on cell phone video by witnesses. No one invaded you, stupid <laughs> liberal Booker says the assault came after some of the men allegedly made statements about white power. He says he decided to start a conversation with them in an effort to keep the peace. But he says within about three minutes, things got out of control. I'm going to, to take this energy and take this moment uh, to make sure that, that there's change that comes from this. Please let him go. Please let him go. Booker's friend, Ian Watkins, who says he tried to help, claims he was attacked too. I tried to pull him off and he punched me in the forehead and knocked me down to the ground a couple times. I felt like I was his only line of defense, so I stepped in to I tried to help him as best as I could. Once Booker was let go, he says there were more racist insults. Happy about the What do you really want to call me? You nappy headed bitch. Investigators confirmed two of the suspects as 38 year old Jerry Cox and 44 year old Sean Purdy, Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton. I saw the videos late Sunday night, uh, and I have to say they turned my stomach. You think it was a hate crime? I do. In our country, racism exists. Uh, it, it is real, it's been around for centuries, and it's still here, and we need to address it openly and directly. We reached out to Cox and Purdy for comment. Cox did not respond, but Purdy responded by sending us a message of a former police officer who's black and gave his account about why he thinks Booker's story is skeptical. Meanwhile, the prosecutor's office will ultimately decide if any charges will be filed. Gail? Hmm. Jerika, turn my stomach too. I'm confused as to why there's a question that it's a hate crime. And once again, as disturbing as that video is, I'm very glad there is a video that we can see what has happened. Yeah, to what's that so man. interesting too, More Gail, to is the man in that video, Booker, said that he would do it all again. You know, he said that a lot of the support he's received uh, is why he says he would have made the same decision to try and talk to these people about alleged comments they made that were racist. I have to keep reminding myself it is 2020, people. It is 2020. Thank you, Jerika.